Hi everybody, so this is another uh, jet video. Uh, what I'll be flying uh, today is the F-16, the beautiful F-16. So, as you can see, it's got the United States Air Force beautiful livery. Everybody loves. I love this livery, just uh, the best one, I think. Looks great on everything. So yeah. So let's go. Uh, let's try this uh, girl out. You're always gonna have fun with this. One of them aircraft that just uh, just has it. I have yet to see anybody that uh, doesn't get along with this aircraft. It's just that good. You can always question the developer and the quality of the cockpit and everything else, but uh, I think with this F-16, I think it's uh, more than acceptable creation. That doesn't mean that uh, somebody else is going to do a better job, but uh, they've done a great job with it. I think so far. Things can change. They can again but who knows but so far I'm uh, okay with the F-60 uh, that uh, as you can see uh, at the back there you can see the afterburner that needs to be adjusted a bit as you can see that's going out you can see that it's going out if that happened in real life that would burn everything in there that would just destroy the thing there needs to be a bit more adjusted to be updated I think it doesn't look like it for now. Make it a big problem. Just a minor minor kind of thing. Minor visual thing. Won't affect the plane like viability and everything else. Just uh just visual, you know. For me I always go by this aircraft. Just you just I'm not even touching the controller and the aircraft, it's just uh, doing its thing. That's how good it is. And to be fair, this aircraft I kept kept kind of going for over a year, you know? So just for that I gotta give it props. They kept us busy. F fourteen, F fifteen, F sixteen. Yeah. We didn't have many when the sim uh, came. These came after, just a bit after, so they've kept us busy. So just for that, gotta give it like positive thumbs up. You can question the quality of the cockpit or the developer or sound and everything else, but I think for the price, these have been on sale I think before. But I think for the price and for the fun, I think they're worth it. More power. Side view. Beautiful Thunderbird. Thunderbird livery. Let's look at it. How cool that look. And it's super smooth. Somebody asked about the smoke. Doesn't work. But you need to set up a, a thing on your controller. This. You need to set up a a separate kind of uh, thing on your controller so you can uh, map, map that button that that's how you need to do it it won't work straight away you need to map it I yeah, definitely need to fix that after burn looks a bit fun yeah but my vulnerability is just great look wise all that decent. But it's fun, it's just fun. And uh, the pilots, they match the delivery. You can see the helmet. I've got the Thunderbird uh, helmets on. So that's cool. Yeah, I had fun for over a year with this aircraft, so I'm not gonna. Personally, I, personally, I just have fun with it. Doesn't matter. Make a move for 
how much they cost. Because the it's worth it if you have as much fun as I had with these. I think they're definitely worth it. I paid like I think it's 27, 30 quid or 27.99 for these. I can't remember. In the first launch. And anyway, they're worth it. And if you notice uh, the quality of the sim in the ground, this is the Balkans. You can see uh, definitely an improvement. On Xbox and PC as well. Definitely you can see a terrain improvement. And the Balkan hasn't had a world debate yet. So when it does, I think it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be great. Even without the update, the terrain looks pretty good. But definitely the Balkans, I think, need an update. I've been asking for that for over. or since the same launch. I think because it's a beautiful area, the Balkan beautiful area, you've got all these countries. Uh, they've got the terrain, like uh, you, know, you can see here, this is Albania. It's a beautiful place to fly around. And then you've got Croatia, it's beautiful as well. You've got Kosovo, you've got the... Uh, Donia, Bulgaria, Greece, Serbia, you've got all these places uh, that you can fly around. You've got uh, even... Uh, Places like Romania, but as far as uh, nature or sea, I think uh, Albania and Croatia look the best, along with Greece in certain parts. But uh, Albania and Croatia, I think, yeah, I think they take the win when it comes to scenery. And just look at this. This is a uh, this scenery here. As you can see, there's the gap here. It's kind of a mountain or kind of a hill there. That you can, yeah, the army used to hide uh, all the aviation people. They used to hide the planes because you could not see them. If you came from the sea from that side, they put the runway on purpose behind that hill right there. So nobody would see the aircraft. So nobody would see if, uh, if there was a threat. The aircraft was just hiding behind there, so they would just come out and just take everybody out. That's why they've done it. They've done it in a specific place, as you can see. So there's two hills here. There's one at the front, there. One there. Well, they left that place like normal, so you wouldn't notice anything. But the airport is just right there. So it tricks you. down a bit that's the and right there so that's how they done you've got hill on that side you got hill on this side so nice uh, strategic place just the uh, Take that uh, speed breaks up, never know. Tricky. Don't want to leap for too long. Slow down gradually. Well, fine. Yeah, I just love this aircraft. It just, it just fun for me. It just fun. I just, uh, yeah. With updates, it's even better. I personally love it. I cannot wait for another jet. That would be fantastic. I love this. Uh, maybe a bit hard to control. That's right. Maybe the gears would be like all over the place. But you can uh, maneuver it anyway. It's not like the end of the world. It's all a bit hard. In real life, of course, you just be extra careful. Just uh, gotta watch out, man. It's not the same. But uh, as they say, a landing, the landing. Yeah, just look at this. Uh, you can see this is not like a the military airport. It's not like a 
civilian airport. So all the planes be around here. Because whenever there was something there, they would attack it. Whenever there was something from there, they would attack it. So a great uh, strategic area for defense. Pretty cool. Of course, the F-16, and I love the F-16. Yeah, I think just that after burner needs to be adjusted a bit. Future, future updates, they need to be fixed. Just visual thing, I'm sure they can do it. Or maybe I'm asking too much. Big. Yeah, could be. Been too picky for that. Just accept the pain as it is, I guess. Look for something new. Armrest. What else? Put it here. I haven't flown this in a while, so just looking at if I've got anything. If I'm missing anything. Tail hook. Canopy. Yes, I'm beautiful. I look at it. That's not the love. So yeah, I hope the I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video, quick uh, daily video about the jets. And this was the F-16 day. So see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.